Hello everyone. Welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7. In this series, we have been exploring solution for previous year's competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's dive into what's today's problem. TSAR 2023. As per this question, so this substrate initially react with LDA and followed by chloroethyl formate. Then second step, which react with methyl vinyl ketone under triethylamine under heating reaction condition, which produce product. So here you see there are four options. Let's figure out which one is the correct option for this question together. The first reaction, which involves using LDA as one of the reagent. So LDA we have already discussed in our previous videos. If you missed that, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box below. So just here recall, LDA or lithium diisopropyl amide is a non-nucleophilic, sterically hinted strong base that readily abstract the proton from acidic position in a molecule. Generally, LDA is useful for the generation of unilate ion by the taking protons from the less hinted side. So when you come to the our substrate, there are two acidic sites are present in our substrate. So here you see this is one side and another side is here. Okay, let's question. So which side is more acidic? So that side only LDA is going to take the proton. So when you compare these two sites, this side is more acidic since this side present in between carbonyl as well as this phenyl ring. Therefore, when you use LDA which readily abstract the proton from here, which produce this corresponding inlet ion after the generation of inlet ion, which readily react with ethyl chloroformate. So here you see how this happened. So this electron shifted here, then followed by this pi electron attack this carbonyl carbon. So resulting that this pi electron move towards to the oxygen, then followed by comes in, which kick off Cl minus, that produce beta keto ester compound. So in particular, this reaction is known as crossed Claisian condensation reaction. So after the generation of this beta keto ester, the second step, which involves the use of methyl vinyl ketone under the presence of triethylamine. So for our convenience, we can redraw this structure like this. So now here you see, so this substrate has two acidic side, here also acidic as well as here also acidic, but when compared to this side, so this site is more acidic since this hydrogen present in between two carbonyl group. So when you use triethylamine, which readily abstract this proton to produce this corresponding enolate ion and followed by triethyl ammonium ion as a byproduct. So after the generation of enolate ion, which readily react with methyl vinyl ketone. So here you see methyl vinyl ketone in this position particularly electron deficient therefore so this inlet ion going to react with this position so here you see this electron shifted here then followed by this pi electron attack this electron deficient position which then this pi electron shifted here then this pi electron move towards to the oxygen atom which resulting that produce this corresponding intermediate so this intermediate which readily takes the proton from triethyl ammonium ion to produce this corresponding intermediate. So in particular, this reaction is known as Michael Addison reaction. So after the Michael Addison step, so still this intermediate present in the basic medium, so which readily undergo intramolecular aldol condensation reaction. Let's see how this takes place. So here you see triethylamine, which readily abstract this methyl, one of the methyl proton, which produced this corresponding inlet ion. So after the generation of inlet ion, which readily react with carbonyl group intramolecularly. So here you see this electron shifted here, then followed by this pi electron attack this carbonyl carbon, which produced this corresponding intermediate. So this intermediate, which readily abstract the proton from triethyl ammonium ion to produce this corresponding intermediate. So this intermediate, which readily react with triethylamine. So here you see this acetic proton, which readily abstract by triethylamine to produce this corresponding enolate ion and followed by triethyl ammonium ion as a byproduct. 
So now you see this negative charge moves here, then followed by this pi electron shifter here, which kick off hydroxy group as a leaving group. So this hydroxy group, which readily abstract the proton from triethyl ammonium ion to produce water molecule with triethylamine. So which readily produce this corresponding alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So in particular, this sequence of reaction is known as, I already said, this reaction is aldol. I mean, particularly intramolecular aldol condensation reaction. So when a reaction which follows sequence of Michael Edison and followed by intramolecular aldol condensation reaction, so such type of reaction is known as a Robinson annihilation reaction. So as per our discussion, so here you see there are the four options. Among the four options, the best option or correct option for this question is answer three. So that's it for the today's problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. And finally, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.